live. Hold on, I'm going live on everywhere. Hold up. Hold on, I'm pushing on my buttons. I really just gave 10 subs. How you doing? How's everybody doing today? Uh, I'm not doing good. I'm not there with you. Okay, so hold on, let me uh let me tighten everything up just a little bit. How you doing guys? Hey Dan Mayor, how you doing? All right, so let me see if I can get all this situated. This is our first live feed where we are doing um, four channels at one time. So I'm just trying to get everything uh, organized here. I think I have it all set. So I'm going to show you the way I do uh, duck on the smoker. And um, as you can see back there, that's one I just pulled out of the smoker so I can show you what it looks like when it's done. And then I'm going to show you what I do to it to get it ready. All right. So um, if you haven't been on one of our shows before, we do all of our stuff live. That way you can see the mistakes, um, the good stuff, the bad stuff, everything. Um, it doesn't always work out as planned, but it always tastes good. <laughs> and we always have, well, we don't always have fun. Last week, it wasn't a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I was screwing it up last week. I was all by myself. Anyway, um, I really appreciate everybody showing up. I'm just making sure. Is YouTube live? Yeah, it's live. Okay. So I, I just need to set one or two more things up, and I am ready to rock and roll. Okay? Um, just give me two seconds. So, uh, can everybody hear me okay? I just need like a high five or something if we, uh, if you can't, I just need to know because I have a Yeti microphone here. Um, so look, hopefully I'll be able to teach you something today. All right, let me see who else who on here. All right, we got um, Instagram is live and kicking. Facebook, both Facebook groups, and uh, YouTube. So, um, welcome everybody to the show. It's a feast with the beast, and um, it's our eighth episode. And um, look, if you have questions, one of my daughters is over here. She is. Um, fielding questions. Where's she at? She's right there. Say hi, Tyler. Wait, what? Hi. All right. So, um, hopefully we'll get everything going. All right. So anyway, uh, if you haven't done Smug Duck before, uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you something, uh, and you can go out and try it. And if you have done it, um, maybe I'll show you something new or, hey, just watch and enjoy the show, right? So, the first thing you need to do, what? What you drinking? So, this is my normal Sunday morning. 
uh, vodka and grapefruit juice. Um, so the way I'm going to do my duck, it's technically not pink king duck, uh, but I'm going to eat it uh, like pink king duck. Okay. So I have um, like some shredded up cabbage, some um, cucumber, and some uh, scallions. And we're going to do something. We're going to try something a little different with the tortillas because these are kind of thick. They're thicker than what they're supposed to be. So I'm going to try to split them apart, but we're going to do that later on. I'm going to put that stuff aside. The, um, the duck. If you can get a whole, a fresh duck, um, that's always best, right? But getting a fresh duck is sometimes kind of hard. Um, I couldn't even get a completely fresh duck. I asked for a fresh duck. I got a frozen duck. So, and they said it was fresh frozen. I don't know. Um, it was frozen when it was fresh. Yeah, so it was frozen when it was fresh, I guess. So anyway, first thing you need to do is really, um, you need to dry this bad boy off, okay? You know what I need, Tyler? I need a chopstick and I need a skewer, a wooden oh, skewer. So now you're using yeah, I do. My chopsticks. Okay, so, and when are you, whenever you dry it off, you need to dry the inside. You need to get all that liquid out of it, okay? And that's the easy part. Now, one of the tricks to duck, you can see on the back. You can see on the back, it's very lean. You can see through, you can see the meat, right? But when you look on the breast, you can't see through that because there's a ton of fat on there, all right? So what you want to do, uh, no, give me that. Actually, bring me a few of these. What's this? No, not that. Just bring me a few of these. Okay. Right. So what you want to do is you want to try to separate the skin. and you, So you need to work your finger up underneath of there and try to separate it. And for a duck, like on a chicken, it's really easy, right? But on a duck... Dude, sometimes it can be very, very tough. And so the reason you want to do that is you want to make sure that fat has a nice, clear exit, okay? Because if it can't, if that fat cannot get out, it will not render, and your duck will not be that great, okay? So just work your fingers up underneath the skin. Like I said, it might be just a little tough to get in there. If it is, just, you want to try not to tear the skin. And you don't want to cut too into the meat. Okay, so it's a little, see that? Just get yourself nice. Can, you, can everybody see, can you see this more? Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. And if you tear the skin, I'm going to show you what you can do to help keep it from being destroyed. Okay? All right. So, look. That's pretty good. All right? The back really isn't that important. You don't have a whole bunch of fat on the back. All right? So, you don't have to worry about that as much. Now, here's the thing. So when you hold this thing up, one, you want to cut off this. Where's my... Uh, get rid of this. <laughs> get rid of this hanging skin here. Okay, this side, you see how you have this fat right here? You want to yank that shit out too, okay?
we got a, a piece of bone here. For some reason, I don't have my boning knife. Hey, Tyler, go look on the counter. You see my boning knife? It, it comes down thin. Hurry up. On the counter. It's a knife that's laying on the counter. Okay, so now this is the part that now some people they just take and poke holes in the skin. I don't do that. I go a little bit further than that. And as you can see, wherever this duck came from, they already poked a bunch of holes in it. Okay, but really that's not good enough because the fat will clog those holes up. So every time I see somebody that just pokes holes on it, it doesn't make sense to me because I don't see how the fat's going to render out. So um, now what the big boys do when they have a kitchen all set up, they actually pump air underneath the skin, and it helps separate the skin. We don't have an air pump, so we run our fingers up under there. Okay? Thank you very much. Um, so what we want to do is we want to score it. Now, you don't want to score it so deep that you cut into the meat. And the first time you do it, you're going to be like, oh, my God, I'm going to cut into the meat because you're thinking chicken and turkey. But once you hit it with the knife, you're going to see that fat just kind of puff out. You're going to see how thick that fat is. Okay. Um, so Russ Royer on Instagram is asking me, what's the biggest difference between a barrel house smoker and a pit barrel cooker? Uh, to me, the biggest difference is um, you can separate the bottom from the top. So if you need to mess around with your coals or your uh, you need to add more coal or anything like that, you don't have to take your food out and all that to, to add coal in the bottom. You just pop the two clips on the side, lift the top off, mess around with your fire, put it back on. So to me, that's the biggest difference. Um, but anyway, so we're going to cut into this, okay? It's going to look like he's been in an Indian knife fight, knife fight. Uh, but it's all good. That's that's the way it's supposed to look, all right? So with that, I actually just use a paring knife, all right? And see that? See? I'm cutting into it, but it's not even going. See, it's not even going all the way through. It's just opening that fat so that fat can drain out. Okay? Just do it kind of lightly, right? After you do a couple, you'll get the hang of it. All right? Can you see okay? Can you see? See what? In the the camera the cuts yes uh. so I take I cut it both ways now you also will see like under the legs right you see big old fat pockets you need to slice like I said you're not slicing all the way through to the meat make sure you don't do that okay what you want to do is a slice so that fat can render out. Now in the back here, you don't have a whole lot. Just kind of mark it up the spine a little bit. Mainly down at the bottom. Again, you'll see the fat pockets under the legs. What's up? Uh, you can butt in. David, it's just that you need a camera person so they can zoom in and out. Yeah, well, we're working on it, man. Uh, where, where is he? Uh, what channel is he on? Uh, good question. Uh, okay. I'm not sure. All right. So anyway, yeah, we're getting uh, we're getting this done step at a time. So look. Oh, it's an WCIP. Okay. See where I cut through. I just cut through the top layer into the fat. 
and it's going to allow that fat to render out. Okay, and if you don't, by doing this, look, it's going to improve the entire everything about this duck. It's not just going to to it's not there. You're not doing it to just try to make crispy skin. You're doing it to improve the flavor of the duck because too much duck fat when you're cooking the duck um, is not good okay um, all right so anyway so we got that part done I don't think I need any more scores on here this tail I could cut this tail off but I'm gonna leave it on it, it's it's no big deal you'd be good um, what you said it like oh yeah so anyway, all right. So now what I want to do is do a little mixture of uh, seasoning and some oil to shove up inside the cavity. Okay. So you get a fresh pair of gloves. Does anybody have any questions at this time? Has anybody done duck? Uh, somebody, I remember someone said that they did duck. It tasted good, but it was very dry. Yeah, well, you can't ever cook your duck. No, it was a goose. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> okay. So here I have, um, this is a mixture of a whole bunch of stuff. It's got red pepper. It's got some uh, sugar in it. It has... Some coriander, some coffee, some cocoa, uh, garlic, all the, like lots of good shit in here. I'm going to mix this with some oil, all right, just so it'll turn into like a little bit of a paste, all right, can you see this? Yes. Uh, Chad Keller said, I don't see the cats anymore. Are you sure that's a duck? <laughs> right. Yeah, I took care of his cats. He brought them to an opium shelter. That's what he means. Right? This might just be a big cat. Okay. So, look. So look, I have this, and it's just like a paste, right? An oily paste. I'm going to use most of it on the inside. All right. Just rub it all, all on the inside here. So if you've seen any of my shows before, um, like uh, turkey and chicken and all that, I always inject, but duck, you don't need to inject. I don't do any injecting. There's no brining going on, none of that stuff, okay? Okay, so I put maybe half of it inside, and I left a little bit for, um, for the outside, all right? So... So at this point, I know I'm drying off a glove. So then we have just regular salt. This is what's going to help dry that skin out. Okay. So you want to take all over this thing. All right. That looks like a lot of salt. Also, um, Eddie by letter said, "Cat, duck, who cares? Just smoke it." <laughs> All right, look, so you want to do both sides of this duck with salt, like a good bit of salt. It's going to help dry that, pull the moisture out of that skin. Okay. And then this is going to do it too, baking powder, not baking soda. You want to use baking powder. And you want to use just about the same amount of baking powder as you do salt, Okay. What's baking powder? So you just rub it in there. Like I said, the back isn't as important as the breast. Pull 
Pull those wings out. Make sure you get stuff on the wings. Um, Dennis wants to know what the powder does. It's, it's going to work with the salt, and it's going to help pull out that moisture and help get a crispy skin. Do a little bit more salt. All right. So at this point, um, now sometimes I'd stop right here, and um, but I'm doing the duck a little different than what I normally do. So at this point, I want to use the rest of my rub on the outside. Get all up underneath the wing. You don't need a whole lot. So, yes. More powder than the turkey recipe? Uh, you know what I did? So, just use the, like about equal parts salt. Or, I'm doing the duck different than when I did the turkey. Okay, the turkey, I measured everything. Um, did a very precise thing. I'm trying out some new stuff with the duck. So, I'm kind of winging it. <laughs> A little bit so um, just use about um, two to three so three parts salt two parts uh, powder that's pretty much what I did when that one that I just took out in this one Yeah, you don't have to raise your hand, honey. I know, I just I don't want to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Uh, what's in the rub again? Um, the rub is, you can use pretty much any rub you want. Um, we're going to do some shows on rubs and marinades. But this, I have, um, it has a whole bunch of stuff in it, man. It had uh, um, black pepper, red pepper, um, cayenne pepper, salt, sugar, uh, cocoa, coffee, um, and some other stuff. So um, uh, I didn't. I just kind of threw some stuff together. Uh, but you know, just use your favorite rub, whatever you want to use. You know what I mean? It's not like um, it's like yeah. Just use whatever you want to use. It's it, it's not it's not as important as the process. Okay, so we have this. So I need this thing that that duck is sitting on for the next thing I have to do here. But we're pretty much done with this duck. All right, so let me get another fresh pair of gloves. Yeah, go ahead. I want to know if it's going to be spicy. It will not be spicy. Yes. It will not be spicy. Um, Okay, so what we want to do, I'm going to set this aside just for a second. I'm going to bring my board up here. He said boo. Boo? Said boo. Dude, you can make it spicy when you throw it on your uh, taco, right? You can make it spicy if you want to. Look, I'm not telling you. Like what's that's why I don't want to tell you what seasonings to use because Good. it's going to be based on what you want, right? If you want spicy, uh, like me, um, I like adding jalapenos at the end, you know that kind of thing. I like enhancing the flavor of the meat. I don't always like to change the flavor of the meat. Okay, but everybody's different. You can do you can do it whichever way you want to. That's All right. Good. So look. first, I want to show you this. What's that? This is a beautiful thing. So I put this underneath the duck. Can everybody see this? This is duck fat. All right. So, um, and this you do not want to throw away. It's like bacon fat. You don't waste it. Okay. This, this is like the cream of the crop on fat. Okay. And you can use this on potatoes you can use this on all kinds of stuff um, you just take and you put it in a jar and it actually keep for months in your refrigerator and you just take like a little dollop out and you put it in stuff when you're cooking it 
You'll love it. Yes. Um, two questions. Are you cooking now in the vertical house cooker? Yes. And uh, can you guys hear Tyler when she's asking me the questions? I think one person. I don't know. Okay, well, speak up, and then your 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 voice will go into the mic. Watch out! Be careful. I'll just do this. Um. Uh. So Tyler is. Uh, so say who asked the question. This is on YouTube. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Oh, it doesn't give you the name on YouTube. No, it does. I just don't know how to say it. Rapper. Okay. Yeah. So so she's trying to figure out how to do the uh, names on YouTube. So look. But it says uh, like any suggestions on the fair like. Fair yeah, 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 dude. I'll, I'll answer any questions like that uh, as soon as I get done with this part. Uh, but look, this is this is the duck I did. Um, I prepared this yesterday. You see how I did the chopstick or the skewer in the back? That kept it open so everything cooked. All right, you can see, even see fat still dripping off of it, okay? All right. So it looks like it's already cooked. It is cooked. It is. This cooked? is the cook. Wait, so I cooked. put this in at six thirty this morning, and it was actually finished about nine thirty, quarter to ten. Uh, and so, and you see how I have it? It's like Chinese torture, and he looks like he's been in a knife fight, right? All right. So I'm going to get this off of here so we can use this hanger. Can all right. I need it? Huh? Can I eat it? Yeah, we're gonna eat it in a, in a, in a minute. But I want to eat it now. No, well, I wonder if I could get this thing off. I wonder if I can get it out. Wait, what temp internal did you go? I did one sixty-five. And John said that. I did 165. Uh, that's what I was trying to do. I think by the time I actually got it out, it was closer to 170. But uh, the way I have this all closed up, dude, um, this thing is going to be freaking awesome. Now, normally I would take these off to get this hanger, but I look at that. Look at this. Isn't this the most beautiful thing? Let me take his his Chinese torture off. See? See how he stays nice and beautiful? Yum, yum, yum. We're gonna taste this bad boy in a few minutes. All right, look. So I'm gonna lay this down on his back. And um man, this thing is beautiful. So I need to set this aside. Just for a few minutes. Okay. Now let's bring this back up here. So, um, the reason I did that is we need this thing for this, all right? Where can you what Chad Keller asked, where can you buy a duck and how much per pound does it typically cost? Dude, ducks are um I think they're like I think I paid two seventy three a pound. Um and these I think were like six pound ducks. That's my guess. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Right, so uh, Walmart didn't have them. We had a local grocery store called Rouse's that carries duck. Uh, they are frozen. Now you can get duck at your uh, your local um, butcher, probably. All right, look, I want to show you something here. So you see how you see how this. All is we're going to close that cavity up a little bit 
We're going to leave it so smoke can still get in, but we want to trap the aromas and the flavor of that seasoning as it starts cooking. Okay. So, um, so I'm going to sew that up a little bit. Go get, um, go get me some toothpicks. Huge ones? No, the regular size toothpicks. Okay. Where are they? And then I'm going to show you if you tear your skin, like you see where I got it cut, it's not torn. Okay. Um, but I do have one tear in there and I want to repair it and you want to sew it up with a, with a toothpick. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So right now here, just take me a, tell me out about four or five. Ones. So, so like my skin is torn right here. If you can see that, so I want to take a toothpick. And basically, you just kind of sew just like you're sewing stitches. You just take the toothpick in. Bam. That's it. You know how when 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 the fat renders, that skin will shrink up? That will keep it from pulling apart and getting all ugly looking. Yes. Um, John said that his local restaurant depot has them fresh and frozen. Oh, fresh, fresh? I don't know. You know, I've never been to a restaurant depot. Maybe I ought to try them bad boys out. All right, so in this here, you want to do the same thing. Can you see this? Can you all see this okay? You know what? Here. Wait. Let me take this part off. That, yes. Are you spreading anything apart? Like legs or something? Yeah. Okay. All right, so... So we want to take and sew these together a little bit. I think I'm going to use a skewer. Okay. So you just stab through. Stab through. Stab through. You just kind of loop it over. I hope you can see this okay. Now, we're not going to close the cavity up all the way. We just want to close it up a little bit. Okay? Just like that. And just break that stick off. Okay? And then throw that under there like that. <clears throat> the legs get put over top. And we'll put these back on. All right? All right. So, as you can see, he's propped up. And you want to So, if you don't have one of these hangers like this, one you can get them off our site at growbees.com, but you can also do just like you're doing a beer can chicken, just shove a can up his ass and let him sit on that and it's going to help that skin to air out, right? So what we want to do now is do the Chinese torture, right? Then you got, see he's sitting, his wings are spread. So when you cook him, you put him in just like this, and it helps so all that smoke and all that heat can convection all the way around. Smoke can still get up in there, right? And then you put a pan underneath, and you'll come up with that beautiful, beautiful duck fat that you can use later. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is put this in my refrigerator. Preferably, you want to put it in the refrigerator for two days on a duck. Two days, okay, after you do all the salt. The, uh, the powdered, um, the baking powder, um, and the seasoning. You want to put it in there for two days. Um, now, the one that I just did this morning, it was actually only in there for one day. It was cut short on time. Um, and this one, because I have to go out of town tomorrow morning, I'm actually going to put it on tonight, so I don't have a choice. I have to cook it tonight. 
but um, but you want to do it two days. Make sure you score everything. And if you see, like right here, I think I'm going to put another score because there's like a lot of fat here. Okay, so it's it's okay to come back and and add to your your method, right? Hey, Dad. Yes. Um, someone from YouTube asks, by spreading it out like that, don't you dry out the legs and wings? Uh, no. Don't. I don't. And uh, Marcosius Silverbane said, "I would suggest dip mares meats if you're looking for ducks in the San Francisco area." So uh, San Francisco, you can get duck where? Uh, dip mares meat. I'll I'll do for or something like that. All right, look. I'm gonna put this one aside. I'm gonna clean my mess up, and we're gonna um. All right, anybody have any questions? We're going to take <clears> – <throat> I'm going to take and clean this mess up real quick, and then um, I'm going to do my tortilla, and then we're going to taste the duck that I did this morning. Cool? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm tasting that duck. All that makes really gravy. Would it be okay to inject if you chose to do so? You can, man, but see, duck has so much fat in it, um, and it has so much flavor already, uh, you don't need to inject. You know, like, so there's two reasons to inject. One reason is to keep, to add moisture to your meat, right? The second reason to inject is to add flavor. Uh, duck has so much fat in it, um, you're not going to want to inject. I mean, you can try it. it I don't know. I Honestly, I've never done it. But to me, it just seems like a waste. Uh, duck has its own awesome flavor, and really, it just needs a rub on it. Yes? Like I said, I have a fat duck spray that I have, which is, I don't know. What a what? A fat Speak duck up. fat spray. She uses it in place of Pam, and it's great for biscuits. Cool. Where would you get duck fat spray? And Diane also Diane said that duck fat makes yummy gravy. Okay. Yes, duck fat does make yummy gravy. Duck fat makes yummy everything. Okay, so I'm actually going to try something new that I haven't done. <laughs> so the worst thing to do on live video is to try something new, but I do it all the time. Okay, so, so anytime I use a flour, to, like I usually use corn tortillas, right? But for this type of taco, you want to use the flour. But the problem with these is they're so thick, right? And then you tell me to use flour. I burn it off to get rid of the doughy taste. So what my plan is, is when it puffs up, I want to separate it. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do, I'm cutting, I'm making it square. Yes. Same uh, Michael asked, same process for wild duck? Uh, yes. And uh, what are you drinking? Uh, my drink is a vodka, um, vodka and grapefruit. All right, so again, like I said, I have not tried this before. I'm going to see how it works. Yes. Have you ever tried a beer can duck like a beer can chicken? Um, I, I actually personally, I don't, I never do the beer can stuff. Um, but the biggest thing the beer can does is it allows 
all the smoke to get all the way around the, the bird. That's really what beer can does. Um, and if you add liquid in the beer can, it helps add moisture inside of the poultry that you're that you are um, Oops. Oh, oh, oh. So, um, whoever it was that was asking about if it dried out the wing, this is the wing. This is how juicy the wing is. <laughs> Hold on. No, no. Oh, my God. All right, watch out for the uh, tendon there. Mm. Holy crap. That is awesome. So, let me cut off one of these breasts. Um, Eddie said tequila and anything is good. And she goes back to more. I should. I know my table is wobbly. Hold on. Look at that. Can you even see that in the camera? Do you want the duck? So look at this. Wow. Here. Unbelievable. Oh my God, that is beautiful. No, it tastes beautiful. Yeah, it tastes beautiful and it is beautiful. So we are gonna eat most of this today. Then the one that I'm cooking, I'll probably have to freeze it. No, I won't. So look, let me see if my little plan is gonna work out. And then we can try a duck taco. Ow. This is not working out. All right, it didn't work out like a plan, but it's still going to be good. So let me just go. Do a new one. I was trying to separate those so it would be thinner, but it didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. But that's okay. Me, um, does anybody have any questions about anything? Uh, no, but you got stuff like the second one's mine. Everything about this thing is freaking tasty. Awesome. Are you awesome. that without me? Here. So, um, that's almost it. I'm going to taste this. We still have uh, plenty of people. How many, does it show how many people are on YouTube? Uh-huh. How many? 
Not a lot, because we just started with YouTube, so... How many? All right, so... Um, hold up. Let me just get the, the dough taste out of the... Out of the um, yeah, we're watching right now, but the most we got was seven. All right, so look, let me see what we got here for questions. Hey, Chad, Jeremy, Dan, Sean, Lucas, how you doing, man? Dennis, Stephen, Eddie. Uh, who else we got on here? We got Vincent, we got Sean, we got Dan, we got Jeremy, we got Chad. Ellen, Dan, John, Dan, Joe, Dave. Benny, Kendrick, Dave Morin is on. We got a lot of people on here, man. Awesome. Probably all together, we're about at 100 right now, I guess. Close to that. Plus 25. Plus 4. Are you going to eat one of these tacos? Yeah. Oh, Floyd's here. Huh? Floyd is here. Floyd Gomez. Floyd Gomez. How you doing, Floyd? You ought to come down for one of these Sundays so we can do a show together, man. So Floyd is uh he's a grill beast that lives over in uh um a town just a little bit away from Baton Rouge. Ow. What? The Peter Bread would work out. Uh Peter Bread. I thought about pita bread too. They didn't have any at the store. I wanted to experiment with a couple things. Um, but I've had pita bread that's actually really thick, so I don't know. Um, all right, hold on. We're really pretty much wrapping it up. Any questions? Look, if you're on YouTube, hit the bell. That will be you, you'll be notified. If you're on uh, Instagram, I guess follow us, and then you'll be notified of our next show. It's every Sunday unless I'm out of town. Next Sunday I'm out of town, but then we're good all the way until there's a weekend in January. I'll be out of town. Pretty much one week in a month I'm out of town. So um, if you if you want to be notified, if you want to get our recipes, our deals on our website, anything like that, make sure you go to grillbeast.com, sign up for the VIP. Go to Facebook, sign up for the VIP. Um, but we get we get everything out to everybody. Um, we, we've had a lot of people asking about our Grill Beast Grill Grates. Um, they are going to be back in stock next week. Go ahead. 